Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the Minecraft Flags of the World project that I've been working on. Before we begin today's episode, I will be going over the flags that we created in the last episode that we made. The last episode we created the flags of Bouvet Island, Brazil, Bulgaria, Burkina Faso, and Burma. The flags that we will be creating today are the flags of Burundi, Cambodia, Cameroon, Canada, and the Central African Republic. The flags that we will be making today require us to have three red flags, a white flag, and a green flag. So let's begin, shall we? The first flag that we're going to be making today, as I will bring it up here, using the CIA World Factbook website, is, come on, Burundi. Now this is a very interesting flag, and it's going to be somewhat confusing to those that will be looking at it, but I'll show you how to make it. So in order to make it, we have to first take our red banner and we're going to have a green triangle like so from the top. Then we're going to have another green triangle coming from the bottom like this, which leads us to that. We're now going to have white that makes a crisscrossing X shape like this. And then finally, to top it off, we will have one more uh, white in the middle. Now. Obviously, we won't be able to make that little three red dots or stars that are in there, but I think that the Burundi flag looks pretty good, all things considering. So let's go ahead and throw it in here and rename it to the name of the country that it is, which is Bur... Oh, that's not how you spell it. Burundi. Like this. I think that looks like a pretty interesting flag, if I do say so myself. Yeah, I like it. So the next flag that we're going to be creating today is... Cambodia, which is a country in Asia. Uh, this is a red flag that has blue on the top, blue in the bottom, and has a white castle in the middle. Now, in order to do the white castle, I'm going to try something just a little bit different that I've only tried a couple times before. But first, let's go and make the outer lying, uh, what do you call it, the stripes. I missed a spot, don't know how I did that. So this is how you make this. And now, in order to do that, I'm going to actually use the Oxide Daisy, and it creates a flower-looking shape, but the default flower is black, so if we add a color to it, then it suddenly becomes white. Now, that isn't the best flag for a castle shape that barely takes up the red, but I think that it would be good, considering that we have not used this flower shape yet. Um, I consider that uh, it's close enough. So let's go ahead and rename it to, say, Cambodia. So, Cambodia, like that. Now that that is done, we can move on to the third country that we are making today. The third country is Cameroon, a country in Africa, very close to one of the countries that we made recently. It is a red flag that has yellow on the right, green on the top, and a yellow star in the middle. So, so the order that we will be going in is green, yellow, yellow, like this. I'll show you. So let's go ahead and throw our red flag in here green on the top like this, yellow on the bottom like this, and then finally we will put the uh, yellow dot in the middle which will be the star like that. So I think that looks like a pretty interesting looking Cameroon flag. We'll go ahead and rename it so that we know what it's named. Cameroon. Like that. Uh, I'll quickly plop it down so you can see it. Yeah, just like that. It looks pretty good I think. Um, maybe not 100%, but then, then it, but uh, I'm sorry, but then again, nothing is. So the next country that we're doing is Canada. Oh, Canada. Yes, Canada, where a lot of nice people live. Canada is awesome, just to let you know. So yeah, it is in North America, because America is here. Anyways, let's move on, shall we? It is a white flag with the maple leaf that's red in the middle and red stripes on each side. Very, very easy to make. Uh, I apologize in advance to all of my Canadian people, friends that are watching this right now, anybody that is Canadian that's watching it, the maple leaf in the middle is not going to be 100%. In fact, the best I've been able to do it, literally, is just the dot. Like, I've tried it with the, uh, I'm sorry, I've tried it with the diamond shape, I've also tried it with the oxide daisy flower, and honestly, the circle looks as close as possible that you're going to get. And like I said, not every country is going to be completely accurate. But I think that Canada, the flag there, uh, looks pretty darn good. 
So yeah, we've got the Canadian flag right here. I'll plop it down one more time for you to see it. It looks all right. And finally, the last country that we are making today is the Central African Republic. And I highly doubt anybody from the Central African Republic is ever going to watch this video. But your little white stripe, yeah, I'm not going to make your little white stripe. I'm sorry. I'm going to make blue, green, yellow, and then red down the middle, like how I'm about to do it. And the yellow star here, uh, we'll see after we make it whether or not it even looks good. So like I said, blue, yellow, and then red, because I have the green already. Whoops, I don't, that, that was interesting. So we'll start off by having a blue stripe on top, like this, a yellow stripe on the bottom. It was yellow. I, I am terrible at forgetting these things like right away. And then a red stripe that goes down like this, and now, before I want to see whether or not this looks bad, if I just have a yellow dot like this right here. Uh, I think that looks like it's here. What we're going to do is first, uh, I'm going to plop it down. I should have actually made this beforehand. So let's see, that's what that looks like with that. And if I actually take a green flag, I've discovered that you can actually duplicate a flag as long as it has the same base color. So now that I have a duplicate, I can... Um, create this one and make it have the, uh, what do you call it, this, and then we can put it down and see which one looks better. Yeah, I think this one, I'm sorry, but your star, your stars, uh, I, I'm sorry, but I don't think I'm going to have your star there. But anyways, okay, so let's go ahead and rename this to Central African Republic. So let's type it in, Central African Republic, like that, and we have it. So now that we have our uh, flags for today, we'll go ahead and put them down over here on our wall of flags, which pretty soon will be turning this direction. Uh, so we have Burundi, we have Cambodia, we have Cameroon, we have Canada, and we have the Central African Republic. Those are some good looking flags from today. If I can actually say that, I do say so myself. I think today's flags look good. So we created the flags of Burundi, Cambodia, Cameroon, Canada, and the Central African Republic. So let's go ahead and end this off by placing them in their correct chest. So first we have Burundi, which, man, I keep forgetting where these countries are at. I'm sorry. Okay, so it goes Africa, Asia, Africa, Africa. Okay, I, I obviously, I know where Canada's at. It's the only one that's here, so I can plop it in there. So Africa, Asia, Africa, so Africa, Asia, Africa and Africa. All right, so our African chest is filling up good. Our Asian chest is filling up. South America is kind of filling up. Europe's filling up. And North America, um, it's filling up too. So anyways, thank you all so much for watching these episodes that we've done so far. And especially thank you for watching today's episode that we are doing right now. It is one, two, three, four, five flags that we've done today. And we'll be doing five flags tomorrow. And like I said, thank you so much for watching. Please like the video if you like it. Please subscribe if you'd like to see more videos, more flags, more Minecraft awesomeness, and especially more flags and more countries. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll catch you in the next episode.